Today we pick up our Bible study in Mark chapter 5, verses 11 through 13. We've learned in Mark chapter 5 that Jesus and his disciples have arrived across the sea to the land of the Gadarians or Gerasenes, as is in some translations, and have been met by a man who was demon-possessed by many demons. As he has confessed to Jesus that his name is Legion. In Mark chapter 5, verse 10, quoting from the New King James Version, the demon-possessed man, or better said, the demons within the man, begged Jesus not to send them out of the country, which may be an indication of being sent out of this physical world and to the place Jesus has determined for their eternal condemnation. In Mark chapter 5, verse 11 through 13, the demons begged Jesus to let them go into a herd of pigs, of which there were about 2,000, as we learn in Mark chapter 5, verse 13, that were nearby as they, in their determination to possess something, knew that they would be better off possessing pigs than to be sent to eternal condemnation earlier than that which was determined for them. This is an example and promise that Jesus is more powerful than thousands of demons. Jesus once again shows his power over the demons of Satan as this legion begs Jesus to allow them to possess a herd of pigs rather than to be cast out of this world. The demons know their eternal place of condemnation that awaits them until the appointed time. And they tremble as we've learned in James chapter 2 verse 19. The demons of Satan have been deployed by him to possess humans in an attempt to keep them away from being reunited with God and stripped from the grasp of the devil himself. But it is by the power of Jesus that the grasp of Satan is broken and we are set free and given eternal salvation. Put your faith in Jesus today and he will save you too. Dear Lord, you have given us this example of the power of Jesus being more powerful than the acts of nature, as we learn in Mark chapter 4, and more powerful than the demons of Satan, even thousands of demons, as we learn in Mark chapter 5. Please help us to believe in the power of Jesus to set us free from the devil and his demons that attack us in this earthly world, that we would have confidence in our salvation in Christ Jesus to set us free as he is the way, the truth, and the life, as we know from John chapter 14, verse 6. And the truth shall make us free, as we know from John chapter 8, verse 32. Please let it be so, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.